before understanding the condition of getting that promise which God has given you you must know the spiritual requirements what is the principle that I must trigger in order to receive this which God has promised or oh, I don't know what God is processing for you wait next week you might be having a testimony wait next month you might be having a testimony they are transactions that are being processed in this house please wait rest in the Lord wait upon him like an eagle you shall fly high Jeremiah 33 verse 3 What does Jeremiah 33 verse 3 say? Before I read it, can you read it aloud the whole church? One, two, three. All right, can we, that is the NIV that you have just read. Can we use the King James Version now? What does the King James Version say? Call unto me and I will answer thee. I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Can we use the Amplified Version? What does the Amplified Version say? Can we read it together? Hold. What a powerful version. Hallelujah. Uh, everyone must have an Amplified in this church. Hallelujah. Because it's closer to the Hebrew than any other. It says, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things fenced in and hidden which you do not know, which you do not distinguish and recognize. You have knowledge of and understand. God wants to show you things that you do not distinguish. That you do not recognize. That you have no knowledge of. So which means when you see God doing something that you have no knowledge of. Before you shoot it down, understand first. Hallelujah. Which you have no knowledge of and which you do not understand. But the key is the first phrase. Call to me. And I will answer you. I will not just answer you, but I will answer you with the great and mighty things that you do not know. Now, can we go to Psalms 37? Psalms 37. There is a verse which I love very much. Verse 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Which means this is a person who is called. And is waiting patiently for what they have called to manifest in their lives. Can you give me verse 4 of the same chapter? Verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Which means sometimes we make too much noise before the Lord and we pray. 
instead of delighting ourselves in the Lord. The Bible is saying when you delight yourself in the Lord, just delighting, no prayer has been offered, no fasting has been done, but just delighting, just Sunday, you can't wait for Sunday. You, when it's Friday, you'll be saying, I wish it is Sunday. I delight in the Lord, I love him. To an extent, 7 a.m. to you, it's like next year. Even when you're on Sunday, you wake up early in the morning, 5 o'clock, you have already bathed. Why? Because you delight yourself in the Lord. The Bible is saying, he shall give you the desires of your heart. It's not every time when God answers prayers, but he can also answer desires. Oh, somebody is not hearing me here. There are some times you just need to desire. Let's all say desire. desire. Why? Because you delight. Before you, there is a dimension in the spirit. Just raise your hand. Father, I pray that my children may go into this dimension. Where they are delighting themselves in the Lord. Oh Lord, we pray for this word to give them the, the desires of their hearts. Morenda gaduma balabia. Jete balamanda ga dere bogadia. I bless your name. Let's all say amen. The Bible is saying, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. I told you last time that the word of God is conditioned. Every prophecy, every promise in the Bible is a condition. If you don't fulfill the condition, you don't get results. So if God says, you are going to have the desires of your heart, don't just jump around and celebrate before understanding the condition of getting that promise which God has given you. You must know what are the spiritual requirements. What is the principle that I must trigger in order to receive this which God has promised? Because he's saying, I will only give desires of the people that delight in me i will fulfill their desires why because they delight in me they don't need even sometimes to pray just desiring that i wish i can just have a four by four by august you are no, you are you are not even opening your mind you are just desiring but when you delight yourself in the Lord, when August came, you didn't fast. You didn't pray, but you were just delighting yourself in the Lord. And you find out the car comes exactly as you were desiring. Amen. I have realized with my wife that these days sometimes we don't pray for things. We just desire, if I just desire, say I wish, I just desire just 10000 or $1,000. No prayer, no fasting, just desiring. God cannot stand the desires of people that delight in him. He has to do something. Just wishing that I think now I now need a husband. I now need to get... you Without praying, you are just thinking in a combi. And you see ten men are approaching you, sister, I wish... To approach you with this message because I there is no fasting, there is no prayer, but this person has just delighted themselves in the Lord. And watch generation. And you want to watch what Tandas is going to do? Well, I don't know the names of the people that are. Or Tande or something. Oh, it's Tandas. You want to watch them. Do you know? I always tell people that those soaps that you spend time watching, those people are employed. They are working. And their job, which gives them money, is entertainment. So watching them, 
You are watching someone who is working when you are lazy on a sofa, on a couch. You are lazy on top of a sofa. And their money is getting into their account. You know what Oh, Chimuti, when is Chimuti coming? You can't stop delighting in the Lord. Once you cut that delight, you have cut that dimension of desires. The reason why things are not coming quick in your life is because you don't love God. You don't delight in the Lord. Delight in him. There is no program that must overcome your Sunday service. If your relative visits you, even a president of a nation on Sunday, bring them to the house of the Lord. Don't tell me that prophet I didn't come to church because I had been visited. So visitors are more important to you than God. Then you can't enter this dimension that I'm talking about. It's a dimension of people who delight themselves in the Lord. Some of you, I can look, I can see even by your face that you are forced to be here. By a situation that is in your life. Because you want a miracle, you want something. You are not here. There are many people who are coming to church, not because they want, they love him. But because they want something from him. But God is not interested in answering the desires of those people. Yes, I can lay hands on you and you get your miracle, but you can never enter the dimension of getting desires of your hearts being answered. The dimension of desires of your heart being answered is entered only by people who delight themselves in the Lord. What is delighting in God? It's being happy about things in the house of God. You give your offering with delight. You give your tithe with delight. You are not forced by a message. You are not forced by circumstances. You are not forced by situations. But you just worship him. You don't wait to fast when prophet has proclaimed a fast. You just fast because you read the word of God. You love God. You don't read the Bible because you want something. But you just love him. Let's all say just love him. Say, just love him. And he will give you. How many would you just want your desires? Just your, before you open your mouth, just your desires to be given to you by God. Now shake the person next to you. The answer is start to delight yourself. <laughs> then we enter the second dimension. It's the dimension of calling now. I have started with the higher one. I am going down. The higher one is of just delighting yourself in the Lord. And you are given the desires of your heart, including the height of the man that you desire to marry you. If you want one with the muscles, you are just desiring. Who can lift you on the beach on honeymoon? You see a muscular guy. Who fears God coming? It's desires. If you are just desiring that one day, Lord, I would just want to drive a, 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 a discovery. You are just desiring. I want the latest one. Hallelujah. God will make sure it just comes, my son. It just comes, my spiritual daughters, without you laboring, but just desiring. Why? Because you delight yourself in the Lord. I, if, I, if I was you from today, I would start to delight myself in the Lord. I would start to delight myself in coming to church. Delight myself in reading the word of God. Because I know it's a dimension that releases desires. Jeremiah 33.3 Now this is a dimension of calling. 
I'm just talking today on the ways God answers our prayers. The second level is calling. You have to call. You have to open your mouth. In this dimension, everybody can fit in. And in this, now, I want you to understand something. There, there are two, these are two different dimensions. The dimension which I am now speaking about, for you to get things, you must have faith. There is effort now of calling by faith. But the dimension that I was talking about, you don't even need faith. The condition is just delighting. Just loving him. Just being crazy about his work. And you are running everywhere for God like Abraham. When you deceive in the servants of the Lord, when they come in the house, you would be running, getting things. He delighted in the things of the Lord. When you are going to church, you even walk with the walk that, no, I want to get my seat. I want a seat somewhere in the front there. Somewhere next to the prophet where there is powerful anointing there. You can get. Hallelujah, you are just desiring and you come, you are the first one. Hallelujah. And you are sitting somewhere where the anointing just goes. <laughs> Hallelujah. You desire. You are desiring. You love him. Everywhere you are, you desire, you, you like him. You delight in the Lord. You are not afraid to bless chicken in the chick, in chicken inn. Do you know some people, once you put them in Nando's, you have shut their prayer. They can't pray in Nando's. You must love God to an extent. You can't eat even a sweet without praying. Before eating a sweet, you are already praying. Randa Gaju, Dabi Galesh. Thank you for this mean to holy God. I love you so much. And when you are putting it, you say, Lord, I thank you for creating sweets and people with minds to do these things. You are desiring, when you are driving your car, you are singing, you are faithful, oh Lord. When, when you are bathing, you are singing, you are playing a DVD in your car, or a CD of the prophet. You are listening to the word of God. Not shouting at people in the robots. But you are in your car listening to the word of God. Going to Harare, worshipping, and the angels will be around you. And when you are in that dimension, you don't need faith. What you need is just desiring. Eh? Congo desire, just desiring. That Lord, I wish as I arrive in Harare, this business must prosper. This deal, I just want this tender to be given to me. I want to pass this interview. When you come, when you arrive, God is touched. You are desiring. You have not talked to anybody. You are just desiring. But for you to get the desires, God will be checking, is there delight? Is there delight? When there is delight, then you are given. But this dimension now, it needs... Three things. This one which I am now getting in. Of calling unto the Lord. It needs about three things. Number one. Even when you don't delight in the Lord on this one. What you must do is you call. Which means there must be opening of your mouth. The first dimension there is no opening of your mouth. It's just a wish. The second dimension, you call. You confess what you want from God. And it will be given by him. And he says, I will show you great and mighty things that you knowest not. But now, there is a verse which we have just read in Psalms 37. Which says, let's all say, be patient. Let's all say, rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Now, because this dimension does not bring things quicker. Like the first one. The first one of people who don't miss Sunday service. Who can wire their tithe when they are in South Africa. Who can attend a church 
when they are in the rural area on Sunday, they don't stop going to church because they've been transferred by work. They can look even for a church where fig church is not. They can even go to AFM or Osayoja to make sure that on that Sunday they have worshipped God. They don't say there is no ego life, there is no fig ministries here in South Africa. They delight, they can't miss a Sunday. So they just get things quicker. Because you must know, how do I make God to answer even my desires without opening my mouth, without even fasting? Delight, delight, delight. Yourself in him. But this one, I said you need faith. You need to call. And you need patience. This is where many people are who are looking at me. And now you must listen because I know many people is a struggle to delight in the Lord. But I want to help you on this one. Though I wish you would be on this other one. That's why I came down from my pulpit because I was talking of the higher one. Now I'm coming on this one which you are used to. Of coming to church and say, Lord, I want a car! Jesus! Do it, Lord! Because you have to call in that dimension. When you read, let's give me Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23, what does it say? It says, whatsoever what? Things that you desire when you pray, believe that you shall have them and they shall be yours. It's 24, it's 24. Therefore I say to you, Whatsoever things you ask, there is an asking. When you pray, believe, which means now you have to have faith. Believe that you will receive them and you will have them. And God will give you so great and mighty things that even you don't know. But it depends with your level of faith. And you need to have patience. In this dimension, when you call, it's not every time when God gives you something. You have to call, but if he's not agreeing with your call, he will not give you. In this dimension, a no can also be an answer. A no can also be an answer. God can say no. Because it's different when he's dealing with your desires. This one is dealing with your calling. You're asking. You're asking. It's coming by. It must come by faith. And there must be an element of patience. This dimension now. You have to approach God, but the first dimension is God who approaches you. So this one you must approach God, but there is need of waiting. Check the person next to you, you must wait patiently for him. Now what you only need to do is to rest and wait. Patiently for him. There are many people who are not patient. Once they come to ego life. Number one, you don't delight yourself in the Lord. Number two, you want quick answers. You must be patient. I also operate in that dimension. I call, I ask for God to give me things. But I want to give you a lesson today. That when you ask, you must ask number one, by faith. Are you asking by faith? Number two, there must be patience. Patience is a long suffering heart. It's a heart that must know how to wait for something.
You are calling when you go on an ATM. I have given this example. When you go on an ATM machine, what happens? Let's say this pulpit is an ATM. There is a screen there. You must be holding a card of the bank to which the ATM is connected, which means whether it's a visa card or whatever, but there must be a connection somewhere, somehow. You must be recognized as a bank holder. You are coming to Eagle Life, it's an ATM. Let's also say Eagle Life is an ATM. Being born again, your name is registered in heaven, which means in heaven you are now allowed, you now have got an account. That's why Paul says that give unto God in Philippians so that you may have something to be credited into your account. So which means everyone in heaven is an account. And the things that you are doing can be credited in that account when you read Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. You, you, whatever you are doing can be credited into that account. So which means some of you, you have got zero balance. Some have got a lot of treasure in that account. And there are some other things which God also would want us to have, but we must have by faith. So which means when I'm coming to the ATM, I must have faith that when I come, this ATM is going to give me money. When I come to Eagle Life, I'm going to get something, you slash in your card. There is an instruction which comes on the ATM that welcome Mr. Blessing Chisa. Which means we recognize you that you are registered with this bank. You are registered with the kingdom bank. You are born again. You have an account. And then the next thing, there is no bank that can give you anything without pressing the pin code. It will say, can you enter your pin code? Because maybe we are mistaken that you are the real person. And you enter 5345. In the kingdom of heaven, you don't just call, you don't just come to his ATM, you press the pin code of heaven. It's J E S U S. Jesus. The Bible says, No man can come unto me, can come unto my father, can go except through me. John 14:6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father except through me. You don't enter Mahomet. You don't use Mbuyane and Orolo Bengula. Oro Amazrozi, Oro your ancestor. Machida em Zimu. Oro cast the things from traditional healers for you to get answers. You use the name of Jesus. And after that, heaven responds. Because even if it's a phone call, it rings when you are calling. It and you press J-A-S-U-S, Jesus. The phone call rings in heaven. And God is ready to wait. And you see on the ATM, there is an instruction which comes on, on the ATM. Which says, please enter the amount that you want. Now that's why you are supposed to ask. You are supposed to call him and tell him, I want a husband. I want you press, I want $200. Or you just press 1000 You press whatever you want. But where I want to explain is this inscription that comes on the ATM. Where... After you request your money, there is a transaction, there is a statement that comes on the ATM. Please wait for your transaction is being processed. Let's all say, please wait. Please wait. But what 
do other Christians do at that moment? When they are now hearing sounds in the ATM, krr, 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 money is now being counted. That's when they want to go and greet relatives in the TM supermarket next to the ATM. Or they are now greeting people who are working when your money is being processed. I want you to know all of you who are looking at me can I give you what God is saying? Rest. Please wait patiently for your transaction is being processed. Oh, what is it that you want unto the Lord? Is it a promotion? Your transaction is being processed. You need to wait. Shake someone say, you need to wait. You need to wait. You are going to give a testimony. You are going to give a testimony. In the name, Mama, you are going to give a testimony. Please, please, please. That's why there is a please. Stop being a paparazzi. Stop being like a chicken and paparicaring everywhere. Like a crazy chicken. You are an eagle. Please wait. The Bible says those who wait upon the Lord like an eagle. An eagle knows how to wait upon the Lord. Oh, can I speak to someone here? The, problem of people is we are also too impatient. We are now living in a world where everything is fast. Fast foods. Microwave. But God sometimes is not a microwave. I went to China. Everything is fast. When you come with that mentality in the church, you start to panic and after panicking you start to do foolish things. You must learn to wait even if your healing hasn't come. I want you to learn to wait. Don't paparika and end up in Chipinga under a traditional healer's house. Wait until you receive your miracle. Sister, wait. We are With this anointing upon my life and you think you can't get a husband. No. I'm telling you, you will get married. Lobola will be paid for you. Stop being a chicken. Rest your husband is coming. Please wait, my daughters. Wait. If your business is not going on well, wait. Your transaction is being processed. If the promotion has not been coming, can you please wait? Because your transaction is being processed. Or even when you see someone on the neck, because sometimes ATMs can be three. On one place, when you see someone already has linked his money and they are going, they have waited. You wait on your ATM. Wait there. Because yours is also coming. Your car is coming. Ce celebrate with them, but remain in ego life there. And say, my brother, I think you have gotten your $1,000. May the Lord God bless you. I am also waiting for mine. It's being processed. There is a transaction that is being processed. Oh, you are not just here for nothing. Everybody here. There is an ATM that is in front of you. And your transaction is being processed. Can you please wait? Mama, wait. Don't go to a traditional healer. Don't go to my pastore. And be given some, some dangerous uh, concussions. How can you go? Because you are desperate to be given a concussion of uh, a mixture of cooking oil mixed with the tea leaves. Peanut butter and buttercup margarine. And also you are told inside you must spit inside that bottle. And we want you also to put some peri peri and vinegar. And mix it and shake it. But before you shake, put milk also. And shake and you are going to get a miracle. No, please wait. Don't be desperate. To an extent, you eat poisonous things. And you get sicknesses. Your transaction is being processed. Ma, ma, you are going to be blessed by the Lord. I want to speak to you in the overflow day. Your miracles are coming in the name of Jesus. 
Please wait. Even some of you, you must learn sometimes. Even when you get into a bank, learn to stand in a queue. It will teach you spiritual principle of patience. You want to cut in the queue every time. Even when parking, you want to cut someone. You can see someone indicating that I'm parking here. You see someone in front of come have parked. Everything you want to shortcuts. In heaven, there are no shortcuts. You must learn to wait upon the Lord. You are too much used of cutting, cutting, cutting. Even in marriage, you want to cut and take someone's husband. But I want an already made product. Someone who is taking care of a woman already. Charge you and you take them. In your pot and you are cooking someone's husband. Repent in the mighty name of Jesus. When you come in the house of God, learn to be patient. Learn to wait. Even if you are a single person, single person and the passions of wanting to sleep with the men, they come. Go in the bathroom, pour in the bath with cold water. Tell your body, wait, 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 wait. Please wait upon the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go and start to move in the streets looking for men in front of men and seducing men and enticing them wearing a miniskirt a sister from ego life because she can't wait upon the lord i know they are not seeing me so now let me go in the streets and you wear a miniskirt and you are walking in front of men ah sister you must wait in the mighty name of jesus wait upon the lord your transaction is being processed there is something happening in the atm machine I am hearing a sound of money being counted. Money. Please wait. Your transaction is big process. Wait here. The come go live. Be rooted. Be planted. Come to church. Be here every Sunday. Wait on the ATM. Muno, muno process kwa jinu, muno. Yeah. There are things that are processed here in Igu Life. Yeah. Don't go everywhere. Just the paparigaring. No. You can get your title this mama without a lawyer here. God can bless. He can stand for you. Ah, in Igu life, I'm confident. What? Even when you are seated there, without even seeing me in my office, just sitting on my chair, on the chairs of this house, your transactions start being processed. I'm talking to you, looking at me, where you are seated, the transactions, it's because you are seated there, they are now already being processed. But you must wait. Don't come one Sunday and say, I know I've gone to Ego Life. People say, you are anointed. When you are at Ego Life, your things happened. I've been going there one month. Nothing zero. Ah, no, mama, you are not hearing. I'm hearing a sound of abundance. Don't go, don't go, don't go. I'm hearing a sound of abundant rain. I'm hearing a sound of processing of material. There is some things that are being processed. Many a time, we run away when the money is about to come out. And when it comes out, it's stolen. Because money that comes out of an ATM, someone has to get it. Sunday that you run away, your husband is out looking for you. Where is the sister? You are out there under a traditional illust tree. Ah, kakangwara kano bagati chachu and take your husband and he's gone. Why? Because you don't know how to wait. Your transaction, your transaction, your transaction is being processed in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let me tell you a secret now that you don't know. 
The longer you wait on an ATM, it means the more the money that is being processed. <laughs> to my two hundred dollars, it just goes like kr, kr, ch -ch and it's out. But if it's a big amount of money, it's kr, 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 kr. oh the longer you wait, something is coming. Can you wait upon the Lord? Somebody go around and give somebody a high five and say, please wait. Your transaction is being processed. Can you please wait, 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 wait? Mana, 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 mana. Msalwane, mana. Ima. Mana kunapa. Konapa e ego life assembly. Ama transactions are processed. Why ye? Oh, Radagari and the guys. Zebagadaya Mandeya. Masoti Abai. Katina Malare. You are blessable when you are under this house. Unoto bleseka. Uza bleseka. Whether you like it or not. Oh, Jesus Christ. You will get your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to drive your car. You are going to get your driver's license. You are going to get a promotion. You are going to get a job. Somebody has to wait. Oh, I feel like preaching over somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, your Mercedes Benz is coming. Your armor is coming. Your mansion is coming. But please wait. There are transactions that are being processed. Oh, I don't know what God is processing for you. Wait, next week you might be having a testimony. Wait, next month you might be having a testimony. There are transactions that are being processed in this house. Your healing is being processed. Your deliverance is being processed. Your promotion is being processed. Your wedding is being processed. Please wait. Please wait. Rest in the Lord. Wait upon him. Like an eagle. You shall fly high. You shall fly high. Above situations. Above circumstances. You shall fly. You shall run and never get weary you shall work and never faint wait great and mighty things that you don't recognize that you can't understand are being trans are transacted they are being processed they are being processed can somebody celebrate your transaction do you believe it? Do you believe it? Are you believing it? That there is a transaction. There is a transaction. This coming week, there is a transaction. Next month, there is a transaction. In the name of Jesus, it's being processed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can you sit down for a minute? I am done. How many are enjoying the word of God? Oh, give somebody high five three people around you. Say, please wait. Your transaction is being processed. Please, please. Beg them, beg them to wait. Beg them to wait. Beg them to be loyal. Beg them to be submissive. Beg them to wait in the house of God. Usa bike bike. Don't be stolen, stolen around. We don't be a chicken, no rest here, 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 Konapa. Mzalwa ne mina ngi kuchele namsla nasam namsla namsla ngi funi kuchela that you must mana. You must stay in the house of the Lord, dwell and rest and wait. Person, do do not afraid about those who are succeeding above you did you read that verse well do, because some of them you don't know how they are prospering some of them might be a snake sucking their breast to get money some of them might have gone to a traditional healer but you are not too desperate to do that you wait upon the lord 
not upon a sangoma. Don't go to a sangoma for your business to prosper. Don't be desperate and you get demons upon your body. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Oh, I want to speak to somebody. Wait. Oh, again, we clap our hands unto the Holy Ghost. Marenda Gaduma Garaba. Everyone just begin to pray right now. Father, we are praying in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. Arianda Gatu Galabia. Zerenda Gaduma Barabara. Just begin to pray, 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 pray. Call unto him, call unto him by faith. What is it that you want? Call upon him now. Call upon him. Call upon him. Tell him your problems. Tell him what you want from him. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody, everybody, open your mouth. Tell him what you want. If it's healing, healing is here today. If it's deliverance, deliverance is here today. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you are here. Holy Father, Holy Father. Morenda Gaduma Barabia. Sherenda guys. Maziamanda Gade. Roborenda Rabagadeja. Shuta Birinda Gaduma Bai. I thank you, Father. I bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we worship your holy name, Papa. We glorify your name today. We call unto you, we call unto you, we call unto you. I want you to join hands with someone, pray for them. Pray for someone next to you, pray for them to wait, to learn to be patient, to learn to be patient, to have a long suffering heart. Let them have patience to wait. Pray for them to have the ability to wait. Pray for them to have the ability to wait. Yes, their testimony is being processed. Your testimony is being processed. Your testimony is being processed. Sometimes you don't know how long you are supposed to wait. But learn to wait. Learn to wait. Learn to wait. Marataka ba 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 ba. Morenda ra ra ra. Maleanda ra mai. Mase daga bage shibai. Mose baria daga bagai. Shela marabia mai. I thank you, Papa. I thank you, Jehovah. I bless your holy name right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Now I want you to move around, greet some people, as many as you can, and say, my transaction is being processed. Tell them, my transaction, my transaction. The longer you wait, the bigger the transaction. The longer the waiting, the bigger the transaction. The shorter the waiting, the smaller the transaction. Moranda Gadesha. Say my transaction, my transaction in ego life here. Yeah. I am patient. It's being processed. It's being processed. It's being processed. It's being processed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maria Baba 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 Baba. Mara Baba Rabiria Gadabia. Morera Randara Gashi Magadesha. I thank you, Holy Lord, in the name of Jesus. More Bagabara Baba 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 Baba. Baba. Let's clap our hands unto the Holy Spirit. Please. Please, 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 wait. Wait. Be patient. Wait patiently for him. Can you put that verse again? Wait patiently. Wait patiently. Don't afraid. Don't afraid. Don't afraid. Wait. Can you put Psalms 37? I think it's verse 7. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all say Psalm 37, 37, 7. Say Psalms 37, verse 7. Say Psalms 377. I want it to be in your heart. Say Psalms 377. Say Psalms 377. Let's read it together. One, two, three. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way.
because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass so there are two people that must not shake you the first dimension is of a christian who is being blessed he has linked his money do not fret because of him who prospers in his atm because it's their time maybe they arrived a little bit earlier than you and you are on your atm so if i see you driving a car it must not make me to fret because of you prospering in your way because i will prosper in my way my transaction is also being processed so when you get something do not be too boastful because i am also on my atm when you are waiting don't think i'm not also going to wait i am on my atm when you drive a big car don't worry drive your car i celebrate with you i am waiting for my transaction and do not also fret second person because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass there are some people who do wicked things and they make them to pass with their own power let them do their dirty deals don't join in those deals those poverty deals there is jail and prison behind them you will learn to wait don't cut don't do shortcuts we learn to wait upon god and to believe our let's clap our hands unto him you may take your seat in the presence of the lord let's also say psalms 37 verse 7 say psalms 37 verse 7 in the name of jesus i bless you holy lord i glorify your name pastor Murongwe, i am seeing you buying a house your own house in the mighty name of jesus you are going to buy a house i release that money wait upon the lord in the mighty name of jesus let's all say wait, wait. upon the lord i release a house upon this man no more renting and lodging in the mighty name of jesus christ we are releasing your blessing upon your life in jesus mighty name father i thank you say holy spirit teach me to wait upon the lord in the name of jesus i am going to rise from today things are going to increase in my life in jesus mighty name yellow shirt can i speak to you where you are the holy spirit is saying do not listen to what people are telling you they can divert you from what you are supposed to do because the lord wants to bless you because i'm sick things have not been moving okay even i see business in your life but god is saying tell him because i'm seeing you are also incorporated in something that is going down it's not performing well but the holy spirit is saying as you are seated there because i see some people even around you but god is saying there is going to be a transformation just by the, this word when you sit there there is a transaction god started processing and even the money is going to improve in that business and i see god opening something in harare there is a tender that is coming from harare and the holy spirit is going to make sure it's done and it will transform even people around you before june in the mighty name of jesus is released already but i sent you in the name of jesus please please i know you have told me because i don't want to say like what you told me as a prophet you told me that at your workplace sometimes uh, there were certain things that i don't want to say now but God is saying, please wait. Don't resign. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't resign. Amen. Don't resign because God is going to remember you at that workplace. You have trained a lot of people and some have been promoted before you. But don't make a mistake because in your heart I still see uh, a, a, a surrendering spirit of saying I've worked for these people for too long but I'm not being appreciated. No, don't work for people when you are at a company. Work for the Lord Amen. as unto God. Never do things for people. Amen. Because when you do things for people, people have nothing to give you. Do things for God. Even it take man, a boss who doesn't know God. Because I am seeing this year, you are going to be shocked at that company. Things are going to shift in your favor. There are two testimonies at your company. The other one will be at the end of the three, the last three months. It will be a good one. It will be a good one. I release you in the name of Jesus. We are praying for the glory of God upon this man. I thank you in Jesus' name. Deliver him from what wanted to remove him in the name of Jesus. My daughter, I want to pray for you again. Yes, stand. Sometimes I have to pray for you too or twice. Mama, I remember about your issue. How many times did I pray for you someday? But you must wait. How many times? Because I... Five. Five times. Because God was showing me that you had invested a lot of money. And God was saying there is no daughter of yours that can lose what they have invested. Amen. Amen. You can't lose their house when you are here. Amen. Because this covering, it gives benefits. Amen. I know you wanted to see me. But God was saying, just sitting there, I will release that. Some of you, I don't need to touch you. Just that chair. Because I have prayers that I do Amen. over those chairs. Amen. If you believe, when you rise up from that chair, touch it and rub it. That, you know, as I sit here. Because we touch these chairs. We pray for them that, Lord, this chair, when a person sits, let their transaction be processed. So I tell you, your where you are seated is enough just to sit there. Mr. Nuve, are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't think you are just a seat. Once you start to see this chair as an ordinary chair, you have missed it. But see it as a contact point with the heaven. Just being on a chair in this house. Because I have whispers that I do in the spirit before coming to church every day. And sometimes when I come alone in this house when there are no people. And I'm touching all these chairs. There are sometimes when I come here and do my prayers before services. And it's only Sekuru Thompson who knows. There will be no people and I'm praying and I can actually even come on a chair like this one where you are sitting and say the one who shall sit on this one, let her get a car. So you don't know what we have declared in the name of Jesus. What we have declared on where you are seated. That car will be released upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything of the devil. Out of here. Lucy. Say Holy Ghost. Touch me with your power. Lift me with your presence. It's done. We bless your family. We bless your family. In the name of Jesus. We bless your family. Let's just say, Holy Spirit, bless me today. Bless me today. Lift me from today. In Jesus' name. Brother, I see a job coming to you in the name of Jesus. In a good time, I release that job on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this brother in present worship, I am seeing a job, a nice one. I'm seeing you wearing a tie behind a table. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Say, Holy Spirit, bless me.
please forgive me for continually prophesying into your life. Can I speak to you? Because I spoke to my mind, I said you are a millionaire. Don't look into your pockets. Don't look what you have. But there are two breakthroughs of money that I am seeing that are coming. Two breakthroughs. Two breakthroughs. The one you spoke about it to me. But I'm seeing another one of about uh, 40,000 US dollars that is coming. There is uh, 30,000, you'll be 10, 10, and they will square the other one, but there is a 40,000 that I'm seeing a transaction that is coming upon you in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for that transaction. In the name of Jesus. Baba, can you stand? You stand. Uh, please don't cry about your business. Be patient. Sit every Sunday. You are going to see April, May. Your business will start to rise. You will start to rise. Why do you attract PP? Because you are a cold business. And do you know the covering of the house which you are in? It's a very anointed house. I want you to start celebrating even if you get $60. Kneel down and thank God even if you get $10. Because sometimes the monies that you are getting are too little. So it has been stressing you. I can see he's now breathing well now. It has been stressing you. I don't want Baba to bury you before time. Because of business. Just come and rest in the Lord. Write your notes and listen. April, May, June, God is restoring you back to where you were in the business. In the name of Jesus, we restore you back to your level that was known. It was a generational case which was manifesting, which was destroying your things, destroying your life. But once you stepped your foot in this place, it was destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. It was destroyed. It's no more there. there is, I don't see any generational case upon you. I don't see it. In the name of Jesus, I free this man by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama. deliver you from stomach pains that you are suffering especially last week and the headache because they are troubling you it's strong because i saw stomach pain i saw headache it's troubling her god was saying you know you can't go because this woman these stomach pains can take her to the hospital but the problem mama you drink do you remember a day when you drank uh, something, a concussion from a postory that is whitish? It was like milk. True. And there was salt inside that milk. And uh, you drank it. But when you drank it, if you really remember, because I can see it's about 19, 99, 2000 there. From that time, you started having stomach problems. But this last week, they were too much. Is it true, Mama, what I'm saying? It's true. I want to pray for you now. So that that liquid comes out. Do you know it was still in your stomach? My conscience of my pastor has no 20 years. You'll be staying with it inside your stomach. So that's why sometimes when you come, Mama, in the presence of God, you feel like what? But that, that impostory was a traditional healer because he was, most of them are in a Zinata. That's why they are in a Zinata. 
Do you know why? Because they are the same. With the traditional healers. That's where you took the spirit that wanted your relatives to be a traditional healer because you had eaten something from a traditional healer. And your relatives from that day, they started coming, giving you things. But it's from 1999, and it was in July when it happened. God is saying, it's true. Because I'm telling you what you have not told me, but you still remember. And even it was after July, between July, August, a week, when that's when they what they dedicated you. But now, leave. Can you stand? Can you stand? Can you, can you lift your hands? From today, that liquid must go. I now release anointing in your stomach and the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus! Holy Ghost, I command that white milk substance In the mighty name of Jesus. I said come out. In the name of Jesus. substance in your stomach. Out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out right now! Come out of your body! Out! 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 Every liquid that she drank in the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to come out. Fire in the stomach! Fire in the stomach! Fire! 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 Buddha! Today. Come out! Out, 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 use everything that she ate from that traditional healer who was wearing a white gown. I command it to go. Out right now. Out right now. With the anointing, anointing, we flush out every substance. We flush out every substance. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I command an anointing of the Holy Ghost. I am putting it in your stomach pain. In, in your stomach. Let the stomach pain go. 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 Let the headache. Water spirits out. Come out everything that she ate. That milk in the name of Jesus. That she drank. Go. 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 Out. 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 Out! Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, all of you. Come out, all of you, come out, all of you. Out, 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 out. Fire, fire in the stomach. Fire in the stomach. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. From today, she will not be hospitalized because of headache and the stomach pains. Because of headache and the stomach pains. Because of headache and the stomach pains. In the name of Jesus, just kneel, 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 out
couldn't see my way The Lord helped him and he showed me the path to take Now I know what I was searching for It was in Jesus all I needed and more When I didn't have a friend, he had my backpack